Have you got a stiff back? Does your spine feel like it doesn't move that much? This is called the happy disco cat. So Jenny and I are gonna break this movement down for you so you can get the most from it. So if we stop first of all, Jenny, what we're gonna do is on our all fours position is just work on the flexion and extension of the spine first. So Jenny's pushed through the arms as much as she can and she's rounded her upper back as much as she possibly can, getting as much movement as she can, keeping the breathing nice and relaxed. And then she starts to arch down and this is extension of the spine. So the spine goes forwards and backwards like this. We want to get as much motion in that as we can. Then from there, the next variation is lateral flexion and extension. And that's when you go side to side with the spine. So what Jenny's doing here is really trying to get the opposite side or the same side shoulder away from the same side hip as much as she can. She gets a nice stretch down the sides here. If she really thinks about lifting that shoulder blade up, it'll make it an even nicer stretch in the lats too. And this starts to get even more movement into the spine. And then how we combine those things is the disco cat we start to try and go through all of those positions, drawing a nice circle with our shoulders and our hips together, moving the spine as much as we can. And we can do that in both directions. We can even do it at multiple speeds. So we can have a nice slow disco or we can go for a nice fast disco and loosen up the elbows and get as much movement as we can as we do this. So this is a great thing for your spine. Spend about two to three minutes on it and you'll notice that the muscles of your spine start to loosen off and you just feel a lot freer.